Hello and welcome to another episode of me painting again. I've got my uh, palette of colours. got a few colours today. <laughs> I think I've got a bit crazy. got a few colours. Titanium white, ultramarine blue, cerulean blue, sap green, alizarin crimson, mars black, burnt umber, yellow ochre, and cadmium yellow. This is like a full palette of colours for me <laughs> because I barely use many colours these days I tend to use the same palette I've inserted cerulean blue because I wanted a bit more of a um, a different type of sky a little less cold uh, kind of a warm sky a bit of white a bit of cerulean blue and white there we go see that nice nice <laughs> nice sky I like that a bit more white even more white to be honest that's about right yeah and then uh, I've got a few trees I'm gonna put them in and then uh, we'll see see what happens really Ooh, got some water <laughs> <laughs> so I'm using a piece of grey card today I've been uh, having a bit of a clear out to be honest and uh, while I've been clearing stuff out I've been finding stuff and I was like oh grey card I've got painting on that. So I'm painting with acrylics on this card. And uh, you can kind of paint a bit like I kind of paint the way I do when I'm plain air painting. And uh, it's something I'm working on at the moment, trying to go outside and paint. So I try and do it inside as well. <laughs> yeah, that's right. When I'm inside, I pretend I'm painting outside. <laughs> that's a bit weird. <laughs> I've even got my coat on as well, pretending it's cold. No, not really. <laughs> but I just think it's a a good way of you know pra practicing and practicing. Painting is you know you're practicing a lot. Some of these blues. There's clouds as well, so I've got to be uh, mindful of the clouds. I'm a little bit darker colour at the top, and I'm lighter down below. Down down here, it gets lighter, so you can go a little bit more white in it and really boost that horizon line a little bit. depending on what you want to do. So I'll leave it at that for now. I'm going to use a hairdryer to dry that because I'm painting quite thickly and uh, I, th I find when I paint th thicker I need to dry it in between when I'm inside. Clouds on and uh, I'm going to use my brown and this blue more the ultramarine blue and we can make a, a bit of red in it as well a bit more blue we can make our shadow color for the clouds it's brown blue a bit more white I don't want it to be too dark that's probably about right actually We'll see what it's like. It's probably going to be look, look a bit like the paper <laughs> or the card that I'm using. Yeah, it is. Look at that. <laughs> Maybe I'll go a bit lighter so I can see it. There we go. I can see it better now. I kind of want it to be a touch darker though. Although I do have, admittedly, a bit of reference for this. And wh when I say reference, just in case you're not sure, because I remember when I was learning to paint and uh, and someone said to me, oh, are you using reference? And I went, what do you mean? <laughs> and uh, it seems silly, doesn't it? Because we just don't know. When we're, when we're first starting out, we don't know stuff, so... 
and I, I'm one of those people that I don't mind asking. I'm not. I'm not bothered because there's no such thing as a a stupid question. As the at some point you've got to learn things. You don't just know stuff. You've got to ask. So I don't mind asking. So yeah, what references? When I say I'm using some reference, it means that I've got a photo or I've got a sketch that I did and I'm using that to uh, base my painting on. That's all it means. Nothing fancy. Something I notice uh, in a lot of things is people try to make things seem more difficult than they are. <laughs> And they uh, they hold information back, and they don't like telling people stuff. I don't mind though. I don't mind just. I don't mean just in art. I mean in everything, every way of life. People hold stuff back. <laughs> it's strange, isn't it? Anyway. Let's get a little bit of, I'm getting a little bit a lighter colour, a little bit of red, a little bit of yellow, going a bit lighter. And then I'm going to pick out some of these areas. I want a bit of a uh, bit more light on them. Just using the corner of my brush. Now, you can either uh, make this in a loose fashion and not blend or anything and uh, I tend to do that a lot quite I, I don't blend very much really when I paint which is a funny thing because uh, when I first started painting that's the one thing I always wanted to learn how am I going to blend the colours? how do you blend this? I mean I just tend to do this when I'm blending I'll just show you a little bit Go a little bit lighter up here. All I would do is this with my finger these days. <laughs> and that tends to do enough for me. Uh, I don't tend to... Or you could rush the paint on and get the other colour on and then blend them together quick. You can do that. But honestly, I think blending colours, it's a... Uh, it's something you end up pulling away from a little bit. The more you paint, I find, you pull away a little bit from that concept. And then you start just putting paint down. I wonder if it's like a... Uh, I think you become more confident as a painter or something. I'm not sure. I'm just uh, thinking about it, really. Anyway, I think it doesn't really matter. <laughs> At the end of the day, you do what you like. If you enjoy blending a lot, then you should do it. And if you uh, like putting colour next to each other and just leaving it, then uh, you should do that. It doesn't really matter, does it? And what does it really matter? <laughs> I'm, I'm all about having fun when I'm painting. That's the main thing. And I enjoy myself. Something to remember, to have fun when you paint. Enjoy it. So why did you start it in the first place? Have some fun. A bit of relaxation. I find it quite good for that. I do find it really good to relax too and just ignore the day. Whatever's happened in the day, well it's happened. And you can put you put that down and pick up your brush and you're in your own little space to enjoy your painting. So we've got this going, nice sky. Now I'm going to put some trees in here. I might put some grass down first. <laughs> Let's get a bit of the. Uh, might as well put some yellow ochre in this colour. 
Bit of sock green and yellow ochre. Bit of white. Something like that. It's yellow ochre, white, and it's got a bit of green in it. Start building some colour up along the horizon. It's going to be a quite bright paint in this one. Nice and bright. Nice colours. Nice and colourful. And then uh, we're going to have a path. We'll have the path sort of swing round like that. I can just paint it with this, it doesn't really matter. As long as we know what's happening. And then uh, a bit more of the green. In the, in a bit more sap green in that colour. Tiny bit of red I think as well. Bit of red, bit of green, bit of yellow ochre. I want it to be a little different to what I'd got. Something like that. I might as well bring that all the way down, it doesn't matter really. Sort of blending those colours together a little bit. I might bring that together actually there. And then, <coughs> using a smaller brush, I'll uh, I want to create a uh, bit of a road, a dirty brownish kind of road. see that. Just a bit of brown, a bit of red, a bit of the black, something like that. I'm going to bring that out to there. Just use my finger to move that paint just because it was a bit messed up. <laughs> I didn't quite get that right, but it's alright. Get there in the end. Just want there to be a road going back there. smaller as it goes away. And then I can uh, come across here and sort of drop that road down a bit with some of this green.
I'm just getting a bit of a, a bluish green as well just to put in here changes the uh, flavor of things a bit. What I might do have a bit of a, a lighter color just to uh, put on that path. Now I find you can do, <laughs> you can paint paths different. You can either do lines going that way to make it look like the path's going that way or you can flatten the path out going this way. I mean, it's up to you really. Gonna get a little bit of that Mars black and just put a bit of a, a ridge in there. And that's quite nice. But you can see that it's a bit shiny. I'll just put a bit of a ridge in there. So now what I want, as this dries, I'll uh, put in a tree. I want a few trees, so we want our dark first, so some blue, Mars black and blue, put it over here, a bit of red, a bit of green, a bit of brown, a bit more green I think. This is going to be our dark. I tend to paint the dark of the tree first these days. I mean, it's up to you what you want to do. There's always different ways to paint. I'm going to have that tree about there. Just paint that dark area of it. I really like trees. Trees are my favourite. You can't beat a good tree. And another one there. And maybe another one there. I'm going to have a gap there because I quite like the idea of a gap there. I might have one. Maybe we should have some. No, I'll just have those three because I quite like that. I might pull this one up a little bit there. Yeah, that that's a bit more dramatic. And we can have one over this side as well. Think about the shape of the tree that you want to paint. small one here. I just have it that that. Looks quite nice. Just leave my brush for a minute. I might put in some tree trunks. I'll use that brush that I use to do the path. 
This isn't a bad little brush actually, it's a number two. It's a number two brush. <laughs> it's only a cheapy one. It's art studio brush. It works quite nice. So I'll get some uh, blue and brown, brown and blue, blue and brown, brown and blue. <laughs> and we'll uh, bring that trunk down here. Out there, and that one. Spin the brush a little bit so it's. If you spin the brush a little bit, it goes a bit narrower. You can make a narrower line. Like there, that one. Remember, spin that brush. Make a. You can make a thinner line. I won't bother with a trunk on that one. So there we go with that, and then I might get a little bit of this red and this colour. Make a sort of a pinky yellow. And I'm going to use that for as a highlight colour for this tree. It's going to get, it's going to hit some light here. On that tree. Same with this tree, it's going to hit there. And this one. Turn that brush, get the light on it. And you can tap it away if you want, whatever. <laughs> Make some of it disappear if you want to. yellow ochre colour again for this area just to plant that tree a bit and that one can put some more light hitting this area so with this bit here Impressionistic. Impressionistic. <laughs> Couldn't say that. <laughs> so I'm focused so much as I. I'm so focused. Can't speak when I'm this focused. <laughs> this is actually quite hard to speak and paint. If you've tried that, maybe you've done a bit of art teaching or something. It's hard. It's hard to speak and paint. It really is. Use my finger just to soften that a little bit. Quite like that. I like the idea of some of this grass just sort of growing along there as well. You now you get like bits of grass that just come all the way across the path. Yeah, this path is not getting walked on as much as it used to. <laughs> That's why it's all starting to uh, It's got all these grass sort of growing on. A 
this up green and yellow. Okay, quite like that. Now, I want some highlights on these trees. Just to get that effect, we want that light hitting the side of the tree effect and I've got this yellow ready for that some cadmium yellow and sap green maybe a little bit of the crimson maybe a tiny bit of yellow ochre as well we can make this first make a nice bit more red in it I think Mm, that's quite nice. We'll start with that. Okay, so the highlight is on this one side, the lights hitting here, so leaving some of the dark though don't when you're doing it i mean have a look at yours try to leave some of that dark otherwise your tree will start to lose its uh three dimensions if you get rid of all the dark so try to save some of that with my finger just to get rid of some of that sometimes you can be really simple with your uh, light Something like that. I think that works quite well actually. And then what I might do. Tiny bit lighter. Just to hit some of the areas. I like the idea of that tree being a bit lighter. In there, just so it comes out in front of that tree a bit better. Then we can always do a bit of this as well. Give it something else. So sometimes you just touch the brush and it does what you want like that. And then you can leave it. So I'm gonna leave that. I quite like that. And then uh I've got some nice colours now. This looks a bit too um, bitty, so I'm going to bring that bit together. I 
I think I'll leave that as that. That's quite nice. Yeah, I quite like that. It's a nice warm painting, nice nice shape to it. So I might put some birds in the sky. Just moistening my paint. <laughs> Birds, maybe there's one there. Maybe there's another one sort of here. Maybe there's one there. I like having a few birds. Maybe there's a couple there. A few birds in the sky. Be a nice place to be, wouldn't it? Be here. Relax in here. Something else I could do. It's just to add a few little grassy bits there. Probably doesn't need anything like that. I'm just being a bit funny, I suppose, in <laughs> detail. I don't want to mess with it too much, I quite like that. So uh, there we go, we've got our finished painting of uh, some trees, a nice meadow type looking place, <laughs> but nice sky and it's nice and sunny. That's what it's been like today, so uh, we've reflected the weather of today into the painting. So I hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you at another one. Cheers. Bye.